Hello, hello everyone. Uh, here is going to be my first of hopefully many videos regarding video game performance in the Windows 11 development builds, or the development builds of Windows 11. And um, I just got the Windows 11 Pro development build installed yesterday on the 28th of June, 2021. Uh, I literally opted into it just as it had went live yesterday morning. And uh, to show you proof that I am in on Windows 11, uh, edition Windows 11 Pro. And of course, it's going to be the second half of 2021. So update 21H2. And then installed yesterday on June 28th, 2021. And then OS build 22.000.51. And uh, so you know the specs of my build. It is a Ryzen 7 5800X, uh, 32 gigs of RAM, 3600 megahertz, uh, CL16, I forget the exact timings. Uh, the motherboard is a Asus ROG Strix B550F. Uh, the graphics card is a RTX 3070 by EVGA, their Black Gaming or Gaming Black XC3. Windows is on a 500 gig uh, SN750 SSD, and the video games are on a one terabyte SN750 SSD. Um, what else is there? Uh, I guess if it matters, the cooler is a Corsair H100 or H100i Capellix something or other. I forget exactly, but I will post the uh, PC part picker list for everything in my build. Um, but, uh, yeah, I've tried this a few times already, and I was having some issues with Stalker Clear Sky. I was planning to record GTA 5, but I was not getting the uh, authentication code to log into my Rockstar account, so good job, Rockstar. Always something fucking up. Um, but at least right now I'm doing Clear Sky. I'm running the game with the Zone Reclamation or Sky Reclamation Project mod, not Zone Reclamation, Sky Reclamation Project SRP, and it is currently limited to DirectX 9, I believe, because I'm using um, uh, Suite FX 1.5.1, which is included with the um, mod. So. Um, I guess without any other delay, I will hop into the game. I currently have it running, and I'm using a program called Magic Borderless uh, to get the game to be, I guess, sort of, kind of, borderless full screen, um, because the game was kind of acting a little bit weird and kind of fully freezing up, so I had to kept on, keep on restarting Windows. So hopefully this remedies that issue. So um, here we go. I have a MSI Afterburner running with the uh, GPU temps, the usage amount, the clock speeds, and the wattage memory usage with the speeds, or uh, speeds for the GPU and memory, GPU memory, uh, CPU temp, its percentage of usage, its clock speed, and its wattage being used, all of the CPU threads for speed and usage, RAM, and the FPS with the uh, frame times. So uh, I guess, and the game, I have currently uh, visually maxed out, of course, on DirectX 9. So, uh, yeah, without any other delay, uh, let's get into the game. Hopefully, really, really hope that a borderless gaming program does the trick and the game does not super duper shit bricks. Um, and I'm recording with OBS, just regular normal OBS, no uh, forked version like Streamlabs or Stream Elements, just normal OBS. Uh... Let's see, I can't think of anything else to add. Um, I guess if you're, if my mic doesn't sound the best, I am currently using a Logitech Pro Gaming Pro Wireless X or something or other um, headset. Uh, and I'm using its built-in mic and it's uh, supposed to have like blue audio quality settings and shit like that. So, um, Hopefully it sounds okay. I would have used my actual desk mounted Yeti, but I am just super duper lazy and I didn't really feel like having it in front of my face kind of in the way. 
But uh, I have to say, um, I guess loading seems a bit slower on this so far. But I mean, again, I should say this, and I probably will put this in the very beginning of this video before we get to the gameplay, that this is a development build of Windows 11. This is the first release of the development builds of Windows 11. Windows 11. This is not going to be how it is in the final release of Windows 11. We have nothing to worry about. According to our research, the next emission will not occur for at least two months. Uh, I'm going to skip that because who has not already seen the intro to fucking Clear Sky. But yeah, this is the first development build of Windows 11. This is not, not going into detail. I must say I have what the final product is going like to be before. like. And again, this video is just to show performance as the development progresses. Again, I really hope this is allowed. Um, hopefully I don't get in trouble because this will be fun to do and I'm sure lots and lots of people will want to see how performance is. Um, and like I said, I'm playing this fully maxed out DirectX 9 because of SweetFX. And uh, it is basically full screen borderless. Um, I'm probably going to have a little, hopefully that little purple line at the bottom doesn't show up, but if it does, I can easily crop that out because my OCD will bug the shit out of me. So uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure how much gameplay I'm going to do, but probably just enough. And everyone knows the beginning of this game probably memorizes everything that's said so i'm just gonna skip shit and fully get into the gameplay um damn i don't think i've really fully played cl vanilla clear sky on uh the 5800x because i know that throughout the years um as i've played clear sky on more and more multi threaded processors that it's one thing I noticed is capturing the swamps um, would happen quicker and quicker um, and I do hope I am recording at 60 FPS because I would love to have this buttery smooth hopefully it shows up buttery smooth Oi. Um, we are going to skip through all of this dialogue to get to the swamps that's enough chit chat great yeah, I gotta go to the trader to get my little Swamp Patrol starter pack. And I'm not sure how the balance is for the game audio and the mic. I think the game might be a fair bit low, but um, hopefully not too bad. Uh, let's see, hopefully I can... I mean, it shouldn't really matter that I'm speeding through this. Um, I want the there are anomalies ahead. Be careful. Remember, don't move Yeah, FPS is a uh, pretty damn absurd. Um for I know for Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl, uh there is the um beta patch to get the Steam overlay working. But there's not any sort of update like that for Clear Sky or Call of Pripyat. It's only Shadow of Chernobyl so far. Um, okay, I'm going to be very ballsy and try and quickly... Okay, I hear the boars. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I think I missed a, uh, a crate thing, but there's a chance it probably didn't have anything in it. Oh, maybe I can quickly get it. Ooh. Yeah, nothing. Um, okay. So, uh... Damn, definitely uh, re 
ridiculously high FPS. Good thing I'm not streaming or I'd be overloading the damn encoder. Like, super fucking bad. Jesus Christ. Oof. Um, let's see. I need to talk to uh, Lebedev, I think. Yeah. Just skip through all of that. This guy's going to tell me about the PDA. I don't care. Um, I'm going to want to unload that, unload that, and unload that because I already have those equipped. And let's see. He will give me that for helping and then trade that, trade that, and that, and that. And I'd normally buy this shotgun from the uh, trader, but you get it from killing some bandits in the uh, swamps. So I usually just do that. And uh, I apologize, I am not that great at commentary. I don't do a lot of YouTube commentary videos, but um, this might be the start of that, I guess, if enough people are interested in these, um, uh, if there's enough interest in these types of videos, which I'm sure there will be, because, let's see, um, Let's see if I can get all of them. Yeah, boy. Knife them mofos. Okay, again, I'm playing on Master difficulty. So, I should be playing on Master difficulty. So, um, I am not always the best at this on Master. I was going to play this with the Arsenal Overhaul Redux mod. But uh, it was crashing for some reason. I don't know if that has to do with it being on Windows 11 or if it's just something wonky. And oh, oh, looks like the uh, little weight mod edit that I did in the uh, actor LTX file did not catch. So um, I am going to have to be wise with my weight management not hoard too much ammo and I normally use the weight carrying edit thingamajig because I a little bit take the game seriously but at the same time it's just like just sort of mess around have a shit ton of guns just blow the shit out of people whatever and I guess that could be taking taken two different ways depending on where your mind is at so oops um and also um if anyone has any requests for games they would like me to test i will gladly try them out i don't have many games on this account that i'm on on my account so um i will post a link if anyone is interested in helping me with funds for picking up games that people would like me to test. I know that I am a very eensy, teensy, nobody YouTuber, but I am a poor retail worker. Uh, thank you, Staples, for not paying a livable wage. So that is that. Uh, but anywho, let's see. I should probably go help the Clear Sky guys. Um, uh, deal, they probably already dealt with the shit. They probably already dealt with, or they're dealing with the boars right now. So, um, I should probably help them as quickly as possible so I can hopefully get credit. Not sure. God, that asshole. Oh my god. I am... Uh, 
um, because the performance overlays in the way I'm not fully sure where these assholes man oh shit Uh, where are... Oh my god, you are rude, dude. I'm not sure where all the bodies are. Gurgle, 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 gurgle. I guess I could probably increase the game audio a little bit. Hopefully I don't go deaf. Um, yeah, 18, 24 FPS. Woo. The frame time is probably going to shit bricks. Oh my god, I hope I didn't just cause the game to dump on itself. Yeah, it seems so far Clear Sky is not liking Windows 11 too terribly much. It's having a lot of hiccups. Um, so, there is that. Lots and lots of hiccups, but I mean... Overall it is running. Um, I am not sure how long I am recording, but... um. I'll probably do a, a little, I don't know, half hour, somewhere around there. Hopefully I guess it right. Um, God, it's kind of hard to see where bodies are on the map to loot. Uh, at least I'll find what I can find. And I forget off the top of my head what add-ons I use for uh, SRP, but uh, yeah, I could maybe post him in the description if anybody's interested. And I am going to save. When playing on Master, you definitely want to save regularly. Hopefully, the volume again, the game volume and the mic volume are a good balance and I don't think I have OBS recording this is why you want to save um, I don't think I have OBS recording uh, mic audio into a separate chant or a separate file so I mean I hope it's good and I do really hope my mic sounds okay um, but uh, anywho Wow, I headshotted that motherfucker, holy shit. I have to guess that a lot of games, when going through certain settings in the menus and stuff like that, will have slight hangs like uh, this game is. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, this was... Oh, I didn't really mention it, but... Get fucked, man, holy hell. Uh, basically, I just upgraded directly from... I opted into the development channel and um, then downloaded a inside. What the hell? I swear it's like fucking plants, block bullets. Um, I uh, opted into a Windows 10 uh, development build. And then after that, it installed the Windows 11 initial development build. I had that installed while I was at work and then came home. Oh, I better save. And um, it was installed, just had to log in. It was a little bit hiccupy, but um, I mean, besides games being a little bit, well, I mean, Technically, yeah, so far I've just played Clear Sky, but uh, so far with Clear Sky being derpy, other than that, like Windows 11 for me is running great so far. Um, so yeah, and uh, of course, you know, again, Windows 11 development test build, uh, things will be wildly different for everybody, even someone who had the exact same system and like you know everything identical to how my computer is it's like things will be different because software is fucking weird um,
Uh, hopefully I am getting some backup sent. Lookout tower. Okay, they're fighting the douchebags at the lookout tower, so... Um, okay, they're heading to the pump station, so I'll just ditch this place. I think their guys might be coming from over there, but... Hopefully they can deal with them. Um... Oh, and I forgot to mention for my processor, I have Precision Boost Overdrive enabled, and uh, I think that's the main thing I have enabled. I did not do it through Ryzen Master, I did it through the BIOS, and I do have the latest uh, BIOS for this motherboard install, which is, is it 2404, 2304, somewhere around there, I forget, whatever the latest, latest version is. Um, I am going the wrong way. I want to avoid them over there. I'm not ready to deal with them yet. I would need backup. <laughs> and I got hiccups. Thanks, Soda. Um, let's see. I'm going to be coming from the rear. Kind of flanking those guys I go. Oh, shit. I want you to come around from the other way. I think these are the bodies that you get a gun from when you get a random quest, like a PP, PPM or something, whatever it is, whatever that gun is, um, and you get it from one of those bodies. I forget if you get it from the trader or someone else, I don't remember. There we go. Okay, looks like those guys down there are going to deal with the douchebags at the lookout tower. So I should probably head over them. Yeah, I have enough ammo for my shotgun, I guess. Um, and if the people who watch prefer, I could upload some videos without commentary. Because, again, I know I am not the best commentator. And if you would prefer me using the Yeti microphone, the, oh my god, the desk mounted Yeti microphone, and I can use that for better quality. I did not save. Ah, shit. Um, what a, mm, I forgot that I was going to pick up that other shotgun. Shit. Oh, and what do you know? I'll unload this one. Um, save again. So if... I'm also definitely not the best at this game. I forget if I said that before, but, um, eh, oh well. Um, let's see, where did I do the main save at? Um, but I guess this will be, I guess, for the most part of this game. Um, if prefer, if preferred, the weather changed, I guess. Okay. Um, if you guys would like, I could, uh, I guess, spawn myself or figure out how to get to some other places in the game just to see how it runs in different environments. But, um, yeah, I guess I will call it quitsies for this part. I will just save one more time for the hell of it. Uh, quit the game. And it does look like my uh, game or my magic borderless program worked well. And again, uh, yeah, I guess uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully people interested in Stalker uh, might like this video. And if I could figure out how to get my code for logging into GTA or my Rockstar account, then um, I will definitely upload that ASAP. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.